Hi, I'm Josh Wood from CoreOS. Welcome to the first in our series of videos about introductory quick tips for Kubernetes and tectonic clusters. Today we're going to take a look at running applications and observing their behavior on tectonic clusters. Tectonic, and we're looking at the introductory landing screen for the tectonic console here, makes running applications in Kubernetes clusters graphical and easy. Now we may already know that pods and deployments are the basic units of execution in a Kubernetes cluster. Here we're looking at all of the pods running on our example cluster. Um, and here we can see the deployments that organize those pods. So how do we run our own applications? Well, creating a deployment can seem a little bit daunting since we're either expected to instantiate a kubectl run command on the command line or manipulate a manifest file in YAML like the one we're looking at here. Since Tectonic Console gives you this handy create deployment button and a skeletal manifest to fill out, it's actually pretty easy. We'll take a quick look through this manifest file and adjust some of the values to deploy three copies of Nginx, a common web server, and a stateless application of the primary kind that are most easy to deploy and illustrate things with on Kubernetes clusters. Now all I'm actually going to do here is change the name of our deployment from example, a little bit generic, to Nginx so it'll be easier to find it later based on the application this deployment's running. Now, Deployments control the number of replicas of a given application running in pods, and we're going to request that the cluster schedules and runs three replicas of our Nginx pod inside of our deployment. Um, the rest of this I can actually leave as it is in the skeleton since we're going to use the Nginx app from the Docker repository uh, to just get a quick and easy run of this application. In fact, after renaming my deployment, all I've got to do is click Create, and we can slide over here to the Pods tab and actually watch them all come up in real time. Now you see we've already got three copies of the Nginx web server running in our deployment. Now again, deployments manage the replication of uh, applications running on Kubernetes clusters. So if we delete one of these pods, we can actually see uh, the cluster quickly replace it with a new Nginx pod, bringing the, the number of replicas back up to our desired count of three. Now that's all well and good for running the application already named in the skeletal demonstration file that comes in Tectonic Console, but what about our own applications? Let's run um, the, CAD, the CADI web server, which is another similar stateless lightweight web server that's good for demonstrating Kubernetes principles um, from a Docker container from an entirely different uh, container registry. Once again, we'll use the Create Deployment button. Um, and we'll fill out our skeletal YAML manifest with items to identify and specify the, uh, the pods we want to run. We're going to call this deployment caddy, since that's the app we'll be deploying in it. And we're going to label it with app equals caddy so that we can find it in label selector searches on the cluster later. Um, we'll also give a name to the container. And most distinctively, versus the last demonstration with Nginx, will specify an entirely different image. And in fact, this image will come from the Quay.io container registry rather than Docker Hub. Last thing, we're actually going to specify the exact version of this container we want to run rather than the default of fetching the latest version of that container as we did with Nginx. Um, that'll be for this version of Caddy in our Quay.io builds uh, version 0.10.10. We'll also quickly adjust the container port on the inside because we know that our caddy containers are configured to listen on port 2015 so that they don't need to map a privilege port 80 as we saw in the Nginx example previously. Now again, I've specified our own application from our own container registry and given a little bit of metadata about it, I can click create and bring those pods up on our server. Now, this will actually take a little longer since we'd already fetched Nginx pods and Caddy is being fetched live from the container registry, but in the time it took me to explain that, you can see that they're already running. So that's a look at how easy it is to instantiate applications, replicate them, and scale them on Tectonic clusters using Tectonic Console. Thank you.